Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome! In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we are going to be going over the Red Line, a legendary shotgun. Now it has this red text here that says, I live my life a quarter mag at a time. Now this is a reference to the Fast and the Furious movies, and the gun name itself is actually the original working title of those movies called Red Line. They weren't originally the Fast and the Furious. Now what does it actually do for this gun? Well, this gun has a really long charge up time, and it has a huge increased rate of fire after the charge up time. That seems to be all I can really tell. Oh, it does make it make like an engine revving sound when you pull the trigger, which is kind of cool. I have not seen it in any element, so if you guys have, please let me know in the comments below because that would be really useful to know. Now, as for the way it looks, I mean, it's a pretty impressive looking shotgun if I do say so myself. If someone rolled up on me with this thing, I'd be like, oh damn, that is a big old gun. Um, I do like the old flak aimers on it, totally impractical, but it's cool looking nonetheless. But those are the torque guns, always doing something like from the old World War II kind of style fashion. And now for my personal thoughts and overview on this gun. I want this gun to be good. It's so cool. It looks so impressive. It's ridiculous when you pull the trigger. You guys can hear that little engine revving sound when you pull the trigger. It's hilarious. Vroom, vroom, vroom. But it looks impressive here in true Vault Hunter mode. It really does. But in the comments, I've got some Mayhem 3 gameplay footage linked, and it just doesn't cut it at all. Look at this guy. I got him so scared. Vroom. But like the fact that it just took almost an entire mag, I think I shot one extra round there, to kill a, one of the weakest true Vault Hunter enemies kind of shows you how this thing would perform in Mayhem 3. It doesn't do shit. You shoot enemies with it and they just kind of shrug it off. If I'm wrong on that, guys, or you have something that makes this thing into a monster or work really well, please let me know in the comments because it just, it's so underwhelming to me. But it's such an impressive gun to use, like, for the feel, the sound, the impact. It's like, rah, 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 rah. but then you look at the enemy's HP bar and you're like, I didn't, I didn't do anything. It's really like, what was that? It's also incredibly hard to keep on target. The recoil on it is kind of ridiculous. Um, the gun jerks all over the place. But it's so much fun. It's stupid that it's this fun. Run, 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 run. I just, I wish it, like, held the engine sound. That'd be cool. Like, it went shifting through gears and stuff. That would have been a better thing, but a larger sound file. But, you know, I mean, they could have pulled it off. It's 2019. Come on, guys. The reload on it's fast. The red fire on it's fast. After the charge up time and splash damage on it doesn't really seem to exist at all. I mean, it is a thing, but, like, it's very, very small. Some of the things that have smaller effects seem to have a much bigger AOE to it. But, like, ah, uh, you guys, it's just not that good of a gun. And like I can just repeat myself and be like if, if it is good let me know because I already said that Oh that guy got overkill one shotted Badass manic we're coming to get you just let me go through a few magazines and we're out of ammo Brings me to another problem with this gun It runs out of ammo way too quick But we got this thing still equipped and if you watched my last review you know this thing deletes everything But either way guys short overview of the red line is it's fun to use, sounds amazing, looks amazing, everything about it's amazing, except for its damage and ammo consumption. So, that makes it not that good of a gun, and I cannot recommend it to anyone, and I hope I'm wrong. I really do, because it needs some major buffing. Probably will get buffed, to be totally honest. Now, if you're looking to get this thing for yourself, I've got some good news. This thing is a targetable drop. It is dropped by Road Dog, and if you want to go kill him and try and prove me wrong that this gun is actually really good, um, you're gonna head on over to Pandora, you're gonna go to the Splinterlands, and he's right where my mouse is moving around up here, he's a big old guy. It's kinda easy to kill, not that hard of a guy to be totally honest. But he spawns right up here, you can spawn down here and drive up, or you can spawn up here and drive up. Somewhere around here is a respawn station, so it's not too bad to find him. But I really do appreciate you all stopping by and checking out the video, the sport's been absolutely amazing. And if you like this content appearing above me here, there should be a playlist with a whole bunch of videos just like this one, and there's some more shit over there. And if you like some of that stuff, think about subscribing, liking, commenting, hitting the notification bell, watching all my content front to back, because it really helps my analytics. And you know, just being an awesome member of the community overall, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Doug figure out! Oh shit, that big guy just dropped this thing and it looks freaking sweet, man! Oh dude, Oh dude, you hear that when you pull the trigger? It's like one of those old kid guns, but it sounds freaking awesome. Holy shit! Bang. Holy crap, this thing shoots ridiculous grenades, what the hell? Yeah, but they're not doing anything that- what? What? <laughs>
Oh, you're right, dude. They're not doing shit. Why would they make something so cool that doesn't do nothing, man? <laughs>